everybody welcome back to my channel this is LV um, if you're new to this channel this is my youtube channel where I talk about plant plant propagation semi hydroponics and propagations show you a plant that I got and if you're not new to this channel welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching again um, so today we have a semi hydroponics on anthurium update so let's get started the last time that I have an update on my Anthurium is almost like three months or four months ago so it's pretty long time ago a lot of things has changed since and you might have noticed some of my setup is actually different and some of the plant is not here I have put my Anthurium rich eye in this moss wall instead of in the Leica and then I have put some of my Anthurium in the Perlite instead of Leica so I just want to show you what happened here. This is my Anthurium magnific Magnificum. Yeah, this is an Indo import because of the ship like this. This is not like not the one that I will get it from United States because of the ship is kind of like this. So I know this is an Indo import, Indonesia import. I put it in the Leica only, and you can see all the root here. Uh, one thing that I would want to change if I knew better before I started I shouldn't really leave any water down here or I should change the water every two weeks or even often more often like fresh out if I using the Lega I might not using the type of pot like this like I need to be able to fresh it out after it's totally converted the first month when it started to convert it I might just still using this pot but after it converted I should have using the pot that I can easily flush it um, so the plant will stay happy after I done the video which is about months later when the plant is happy in the semi hydroponic I just leave it there forget about it it's winter time <laughs> I leave the water about one finger high and and then that's all like when when it's see low it is added water I just use diluted super drive solution even though after the transition clinics i didn't add so much of uh, nutrition like this the general hydroponic solutions so at the results this is my um, chrysorarium so you can see there's a red spot here so this is an indicator saying this plant not enough nutrition basically it needs it needs this calcium and magnesium so that's basically what it says when the plant look like this i noticed it actually March when it start to happen it I thought it was just you know a bacterial infection because as you can see my queen has so much bacterial infections but um, I read that on front find out is actually not enough nutrition so I add, uh, add, add these solutions to those every time I add one milliliter per balance so the plant is still in Lega has a lot of root it's really it's really a lot of work when you have so many plants in Lega that you have to go to the sink and then change the water fresh it I don't think I can do it anymore and it's not foreseeable for me it's more work than just put it in in the in the soil so I don't like that approach of leaving water underneath so this one I don't have any water reservoir here anymore the perlite itself can soak a lot of water so this pot is very moist actually um, not sure if you can see the condensation underneath so there's a gap in between so I can actually fill up the water without letting it touch the, the perlite so it can stay the humidity in this area at the same time also encourage the root to go down to reach the water so yeah, this is my favorite pot and I put it in I think 40% or 50% of permite um, and then another half of polite and then some lega. Don't ask me why I do these portions. This is what I learned from um, Instagram. The girl that I learned from, she told me that there's nothing different with, between just polite and uh, uh, permites mix um, I don't know with the true uh, I'm still learning because I just start to convert this type of setup about a month ago so I'm pretty new with this one <laughs> I'm, I will try to help as much as I can <laughs> so she told me there's nothing different between um, just polite and some uh, permite mix but I prefer permite mix just because it holds less water and with this setup you should just water from the bottom so let the perlite and permite soak the water up um, if you bought water from the top uh, for me i'm a little bit not confident on that uh, i feel like it will overwater the plant so i try to not doing that 
uh, maybe you can try it and let me know <laughs> if it works or not. <laughs> yeah, but I I I I want it in the bottom, so I don't want to risk my brand. <laughs> this one is the thing that I change. I just really wanted everything as simple and easy, so I don't use the general hydroponic solution anymore. That one, I find it change the pH very very quickly. So how I know is from my moss wall uh, water reservoir because most of my semi hydroponic has actually very very little water, so I couldn't test the pH. Uh, but when I test the pH on my moss wall, I found. When I use the general um, hydroponic solution, it's changed in the morning, like from six and a half to like four and a half in the evening. So it's like two point change in a day um, because it's a moss. So the mosses have acidic. I think that's why my uh, water is pH go down more. So I really don't want to come and check my water every day because that's not the joy of owning the plant. <laughs> I will say, um, I heard this one from Instagram too. I actually bought this at the beginning of December. This one is a UK company. They ship it all over to uh, America. I think about $15 or less than $20 a bottle. I bought two bottles. And I just started using it a month ago. Um, I add this one, uh, one milliliter per gallon plus uh, super drive solution. This one is uh, organic as well. This one you can use either in the semi hydroponic or in the in the soil. I don't get sponsored. I hope I got sponsored. <laughs> Pretty someone sponsor me with pot and stuff. <laughs> right now I use HPR 101 more than the Super Drive. I just want to kind of finish it. After I finish this one, I am going to go with this one. This is Earthworm Casting Tea. So this is the organic. I don't know like would I want to try two of them comparisons it's a little bit a lot of work so I'm very sure that this will work that will work either and anything any solution that you buy online or in the store will work so I don't have any preference on any nutrition whichever easy convenience for me is the one that I choose when I use this one this is what my favorite because is when I use this one I test on my water the pH very stable for me. Like, I don't know for other people, I heard it might be a different story, but for me, my water and my environment, when I use this one, the pH level go down like about two days from six and a half to five or four and a half. With this one, I have to use this one because this smell very bad. You can, I think you can find any organic stuff outside. It doesn't have to be the same brand. It doesn't have to be this one. For me, I prefer to try organic because I don't know if it, I use organic, then that means that I won't have chemical build-ups or like something like that. Like I don't have to flush my, my perlite or my leg up as much as I would use the synthetic nutrition solution. When I test my water, so this is what I do. Um, I use this pH meter. Right now I don't get it too low, maybe like sometimes it's five. I never go more than five anymore. It's more like five to five and a half range, like somewhere around five. And when I test in the morning it's that way. And then I add this uh, pH up solutions and <laughs> I don't do a drip or drop anymore. What I do, I just use a spoon, I eyeball it, I, you know, I mix it up. <laughs> That's what I do. Do whatever work for you. This work for me. I'm just a little bit lazy on doing the drip system or whatever it is called. I think like when you do it so many times or like when you know kind of your water, you will know like I, you can eyeball it. I believe you. I believe in you. <laughs> and then after I um, mix it, it about go back up to about six and a half. Sometimes six and eight, six point eight, but somewhere around there is. And then. I will wait until maybe two days or three days and I test it again in the morning. The other one I don't test it because um, there's not enough water for me to test. So there's no way I can test but I do test on the one that I have water. So right now this guy has no water at all. It depends on your plant as well. Like, like most of them doesn't need to have any reservoir underneath it. Most of my plant right now this is the water that they're getting it. Um, I rather to add water than to fresh the water. It's just feel like easier for me to do that but I do test on my Claudia and you know Claudia like to be in a moisture fit so I do have a water here I tested a couple days ago and it's still very good uh, but I think 5.4 pH let me test 
test it again. So right now this one is about six and a half. So when I do the risotto like that, um, I do change the pH just like this, but I don't uh, measure it as much as I will be needed to. And this one is going up because it's in Lega. So when you have that in Lega, your pH most likely is going up. But when you have a moss, it's most likely going down. I was wondering, like, you know, some. I think I'm going to do uh, experiments to just put a moss underneath. <laughs> on top of the water so see if they can balance out the pH with like a, I saw some people doing that on Facebook so it might work you know yeah. so you don't have to change the pH anymore after I fresh my lega it start to grow new leaf so cannot be lazy <laughs> cannot be lazy with this setup you have to fresh your lega every month so with this setup this is what I'm going to convert all of my interior now with this setup um, sometime sooner too um, because I think they just like this, especially my philodendron and our location, they love perlite more than Lega. I'm gonna do more video about my perlite setup, uh, but not now because I'm still learning. It, it's hard to show you something that I'm just learning new. What if I did it and it killed my plants and it killed yours? So far, uh, what I'm changing is I don't put any reservoir underneath the water anymore. I change to different nutrition water and um, check the pH more often um, and fresh your pots every month. That's the thing that I learned after this laziness in the past couple months. <laughs> if you fresh it, your plant will be appreciated with your new growth. The, the thing is about the plant is they, they, they still grow with semi-hydroponic after you convert it, even though the pH is really low. They won't complain to you, they're just not growing. Like my moss wall, at one point is about four or three and a half pH. They were just not growing. It's they don't die, they don't yellow or anything, they just not growing. If you have any questions put the comments down below. Remember to click like and subscribe and so I see you next time for my more updates. Um, thank you for watching. So bye bye.